Are you struggling to make pretty looking foliage? Well, in today's video I will show you how to make your vegetation look good and it's not even that hard. Let's start with the grass since it is the most important part of vegetation. There are two most popular ways to make grass. With a transparent texture and plane, mostly curves like this, or you can fully model it in 3D software which I made a video about and I encourage you to watch it if you want to make your grass fully in 3D. Now, you may think that grass with the transparency is more cheap because it has less polygons, but because it is transparent it needs to outdraw the pixels of the mask and that takes processing power. So if you keep the polygons low, you may end up with a much fancier and cheaper grass. But what I will do is that I will mix these two ways together. Maybe if you want to add smaller grass as a details where it wouldn't make sense to model such a small grass with a lot of polygons. Second most visually appearing thing are trees. And they are really easy to make thanks to softwares like Spitz Tree or Treat. There is also an option to model it in 3D which gives you much more control. But for a regular tree, I think that software like Treat is more than good enough. I have made a tutorial for it, so go and check it out. After you make your tree, import it to Blender, scale it down to the correct size and export it in FBX. And now you can import it to Unreal Engine. Now create one material for the leaves and one for the trunk. So in the leaves material, we're gonna enable double-sided mesh and change the blend mode to masked. Then plug the alpha mask and base color. For a stylized look, I will set specular to zero and roughness to one. To fix these black backsides of the leaves, we're gonna need to set the normals of the backside up. So find an two sided node and we will multiply it with the blue color of one, which is also an Z axis. And now we have good looking light. Bushes are similar to trees, so we can create them in trees as well. Just make them smaller with less branches. When it comes to plants, we're gonna need to take a different approach. So let's open Photoshop. We're gonna make an alpha mask. We're gonna make, for example, wheat. You can go and look at the internet on how wheat looks like. Then we will recreate it in a simple form in Photoshop. So I'm gonna use pen tool to create simple shape. Then add the rectangle. and duplicate the shape until I have a wheat mask. So go and export it first as a PNG without background and then export it again with the black background as a PNG. We will continue in Blender and what we're gonna do is that we will put the wheat mask on a plane and then we will shape the plane into the mesh. So add the plane and create a new material for that plane. Then we will click on this yellow dot in base color and select image texture. Then go and add wheat mask. To make the mask transparent, we will go down and change the blend mode to alpha clip. We will also need to go to shading and plug the alpha channel. Ok, so now we can see the wheat in a transparent background. Now we will scale down the UVs on X axis to save the textual space because of transparency. 
and then we will correct the size of the plane. Let's put the plane to the middle. If you want to add the wind in the Unreal Engine, add some detail. Ok, so now duplicate the mesh and rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis to make this crossed shape. To make the mesh double sided, duplicate the mesh and flip the sides. I know you can do this in Unreal Engine by one click, but for me it does some artifacts. Let's fix the normals to get better lighting, so apply Alt Transform, then click Alt N and click on Point to Target. Now down here, set the Z to like a million. Ok, so now we can duplicate it around, scale it with the different scales and shape it with a proportional editing. Of course, this is where you can be free doing whatever you want, so play with it and make something you like. Finally, we can export it as an FBX. Let's go to Unreal Engine and import the mesh with the alpha mask. Create a new material for the foliage. Open it and move the alpha mask in. Also change the blend modes to masked. For the base color, we will make a gradient of two colors. To add the wind, we will just add and set up the simple grass wind. And if you want the wind to not move at the bottom, we can just select the gradient with a constant of 1. I guess you will use more plants with this material, just with a different alpha mask, so we will add a switch. I will also set the specular to 0 and the roughness to 1. And now you can just play with the color and wind. And you have stylized wheat. Now you can continue doing this with whatever plant you wanna make. So this is it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.